My father's family settled in Oklahoma more than 100 years ago when both his mother and father's families made their way from Nebraska to Oklahoma, settling for a number of years in Anton, Oklahoma. These two families were later united through the marriage of two of their children, my grandfather, John William Coos, and my grandmother, Mary Elizabeth Elmenhorst. In 1925, Jack and Mary Coos moved their family from Anton, where Jack farmed, to El Reno, Oklahoma. In El Reno, Jack Coos worked in a chicken hatchery, while Mary worked in the home, raising their seven children. On May 4, 1930, in the midst of the Great Depression, Jack, my grandfather, died unexpectedly, leaving my grandmother to raise her children by herself. She earned money doing laundry and cutting hair. As her older boys grew, they helped by working at a dairy delivering milk. In August 1936, Mary Coos remarried. She and Leo Detterman joined her seven children with his three children and together added two more children to their family. This family, consisting of his, hers, and ours, lived together for a few years until the older boys grew up and pursued their own lives. Before long, all four boys were in the military. When World War II broke out in December 1941, Mary Coos Detterman's oldest four children, sons Richard, Delmer, Jack, and Leonard, were all members of the armed forces. During the years they served their country, Richard had the joy and privilege of being part of the liberation of a POW camp where his brother Leonard had been held prisoner for over a year after the plane he was in was shot down. Fortunately, all four brothers were able to return home safely. My mother's family was also longtime Oklahomans, with my grandmother, Josephine Stieferman, being a native of Okarchi, Oklahoma, and my grandfather, Charles E. Ed Weaver, settling in Okarchi from Missouri as a young man. While in Okarchi, he owned a hardware store, as well as a barber shop in Geary, Oklahoma. The Weaver family had eight children, but only six of them lived to adulthood. In addition, Josephine, Josie Weaver, died in 1926 after a long illness, leaving Ed Weaver to raise their surviving six children by himself. For a period of time, two of the middle children spent time at St. Joseph's Orphanage in Bethany, Oklahoma, in the facility that later became the Children's Center on Northwest 39th Street. My mother, Mary Ann Weaver, the youngest of the surviving children, spent much time at the home of her uncle and aunt, Gus and Cornel Wewell, and with family friend, Kate Ludwig. In 1936, the Weaver family moved to El Reno. Ed Weaver owned Weaver's Tavern in El Reno, and later an additional one in Yukon, Oklahoma, which was famous for its roast beef sandwiches. The Weaver family also had family members that served in the military during World War II. Mary Ann's brothers, Paul and Pat, both spent several years serving their country overseas. Upon their discharge, Paul took over operation of Weaver's Tavern, while Pat went to college and then on to the University of Oklahoma Law School. Upon completion, he was a successful attorney and served as the city attorney of El Reno for a number of years. In addition, the Coos brothers also returned home where Jack Coos met Mary Ann Weaver and they later married in 1947. Five of their six children live in El Reno. Many of their 17 grandchildren and 11 great-grandchildren live in El Reno and they all live in the great state of Oklahoma and I anticipate the Coos Weaver family will continue to have a presence in Oklahoma for many years to come.